I'm Dr. Rashmi Kadesia with CCRM Fertility in Houston, Texas. And today I'd like to talk to you about mental health in women that have polycystic ovary syndrome. For many years, folks were unaware of the connection between the PCOS diagnosis and increased rates of depression and anxiety. However, a slew of recent studies and meta-analyses where we combine the results of smaller studies have demonstrated that the uh, prevalence of depressive and anxiety symptoms and disorders among women with PCOS is two to five times higher than that in the general population. What remains unclear is, is this increase in mental health issues because of something specific to having PCOS, some change or impact on the neurotransmitters in our brain possibly? Is it related to some other aspect of the physiology for women that have PCOS? Or is it an outcome of the many difficulties that women that have PCOS might be enduring, whether that's infertility, dealing with their metabolism or weight gain issues, irregular, unpredictable cycles, unwanted hair growth, or any combination of the above? What we know is that mental health is a key component of quality of life for women that have PCOS. And I think it's very important and empowering for my patients to know that if they're experiencing mental health struggles and they have PCOS, it's part and parcel of the same thing. That there's not multiple diagnoses going on, it's all part of one issue and that by treating it properly with a multifaceted approach that takes into account all of the symptoms that they're dealing with, we can help you feel better. So again, it's important not to feel stigmatized. Mental health issues are incredibly common and we've come to see that, especially in the past year and a half with everything that we're going through in terms of a global pandemic. But particularly for women with PCOS, we know that these rates are two to five times higher of depression and anxiety symptoms and disorders, and you shouldn't feel alone. PCOS is the most common endocrine or hormonal disorder of young women, and the mental health issues affect a substantial proportion of women that have PCOS. So definitely seek help. Ultimately, what I often say is that crafting the perfect management team if you have PCOS is gonna include a variety of folks. It may be a reproductive endocrinologist like myself. It could involve a mental health component, your gynecologist, an endocrinologist, a lot of different things. But definitely focusing on your mental health and your self-care is a big part of that. Crafting a lifestyle through eating well, what fit feels right for your body, getting some physical movement, getting outside if it's safe with appropriate sun protection. These are all things that can definitely help you feel better. And ultimately social connectedness, being part of a community, having a good strong support network is another critical component of self-care and prioritizing your mental health. Definitely reach out if you feel that you're struggling and need assistance.